Hello everyone, Ace here, and today we are back with my Let's Play of the Russian Campaign from Empire Earth. So, our last video, we actually started this campaign off with the Crocodile, which means we will now be moving on to Novaya, Russia. This can actually be a very, very difficult mission, although I actually think I've found a way to beat it fairly easily. Um, I'm going to see if it works again, but yeah, let's dive in, shall we? It took many years, but the dull humiliations of a lost election and failed coup had finally been avenged. Deep inside the Kremlin, as Grigor Stoyanovich settled into his new residence, vodka flowed freely in celebration of the victory, but maps and battle plans were already being prepared for the next phase of expansion. Grigor wanted more territory, and he knew just from where to take it. In the years of consolidation that followed the capture of Moscow, a problem had surfaced. Krigo's propaganda machine could not gloss over the violence being committed by his black robes. Commoners and dissidents were fleeing via Russia in droves and spreading tales of atrocities and terror. Ukraine, sensing the danger, had already begun forging alliances with the major powers of Europe. And those powers, mindful of the lessons of the previous century, were not going to ignore the perceived threat growing to the east. The Ukraine had to be brought under Novaya Russia's banner, and Krieger confidently predicted his former ally would be easy prey. But the European powers were another matter. If they were to be neutralized, he had to move swiftly and decisively against them, or risk losing all he had accomplished. All right, so let's see here. Here's the history here. I'm not going to be reading this to you, but if you wish to read it yourself, go ahead and pause the video now and, yeah, have a look. And here's some of the hints here. The British will be sending transports from Scotland. If they reach the mainland, they will unload troops that will head straight for Moscow. The only way to stop this is to destroy all the docks in Great Britain. Okay, well, it sounds a little bit tricky, so I'll probably not do that. It will be easier if you deal with the rebels first, since they are more likely to attack you directly. Yes, this will actually be a very, very important thing to do early on. Building an espionage center will make it easier to spot where the rebels are hiding. I'm going to avoid... Uh, okay, so I'm going to actually avoid building an espionage center myself, but... And there's a few reasons why, but it is a valid strategy, I suppose. I'm just not going to be doing this in this Let's Play. Instead, I've got another idea in mind. One enemy falls, then several more rise to take its place. This constant struggle is taking its toll on me. Yet I must continue the fight against those who would keep Novaya Russia from attaining its rightful place in the world. General, I suggest we construct some inspirational buildings to aid in our fight. They could prove advantageous. All right. So I do have some plans here. Uh, first of all, we do need to actually see what we can get here. Bombers, I do need to, um, let's see. Flight time, no. Hit points and speed, definitely. And attack, sure, why not? And while we are at it, we're also going to get some other bonuses as well. Let's see. Infantry ranged, we want some cost reduction for that. And siege weapons. Cost reduction, sure, and... Yeah, that'll do for now. I know I'm improving the bombers pretty heavily, but I do have a method to my madness here, and it does require using them. Okay, so some citizens there getting some food. We really do need to actually get some a lot of food produced relatively quickly. So we'll get four of them. siege weapons. I want five paladins and what else can we get? Five skywatcher AAs? No. But I can at least get two. So that's good news. Now, I'm going to avoid getting Grieger and his buddy there into the fight because I want to keep, I want to keep them safe. However, 
I do need to deal with the rebels very, very quickly. So one of the things I'm going to do is see. Rush my guys all to the southeast, which is where the rebels are hiding. You could actually have seen that on the map uh, earlier. Alright, so we'll get this together as group one. And their goal is, as I may have mentioned before, we're going to deal with the rebels. We do have not really as many tanks as I would like at this point, but black robes should be able to make up the difference, I think. Whoops. Forgot. There we go. And the artillery here will be group two. So they sent in a gunship. And it's not really working out for them, is it? <laughs> here comes their tanks. Actually, I will go ahead and send Grieger and his buddy up. Only to try to keep my guys alive for as long as possible. Kill that fairly quickly. Good. Okay. That was a waste, but ah eh, well. Okay, so we do have the flank, the area there secure, which is good news for us. Bad news is they already have their artillery ready, or their towers ready. So we will go ahead and get these towers deleted. These guys should be able to take them out fairly quickly. Do you need to Grigos Toyanovich? Betrayal of the Russian people. Fools. It is the winning side who names the traitors. And I think we both know who the winner is. Alright, so the good news is we pretty much dealt with most of these. Uh, oop. Do you need to deal with the tower there? I'll go ahead and send some guys out to attack it. Let's try to reduce the damage that's doing to our guns, although it's not going to be that big of a deal. We got that pretty much taken out. Losing a lot of tanks, so that is bad news. But we have taken out the rebellion has at last been crushed. Now I can fully focus my attention on the west. Good. I am, however, going to keep uh, my artillery there just to keep wrecking any enemy units that decide to keep showing up. Now, let's see what we've got to work with. We've got food, we've got And we also have more points to play with, so... Hmm, bombers, cost reduction, yes. And I think I can also get Civ Buildings range, yep. I want these things to have the best range possible. And now is a really good time to expand our AA defense, because they are going to try sending nuclear bombers our way. So we'll go ahead and build three of these towers here. Oop. 
Okay, so they are sending infantry, but it's nothing to really be alarmed by. So Grieger and his buddy back up where they belong. Going to avoid upgrading uh, these guys for now, if only to save on resources. Now, the reason I am going for destroying these... Oops, Yeah, they're going to keep attacking, so I'll just go ahead and delete them. But the reason I'm destroying this, what's left of this base is because it does give me access to this stone here, which is a very, very valuable resource. Yeah, they're going to, I'm going to lose these guys if I'm not careful, so. And already the attacks are coming in full force in the north. Okay, that is bad news. Um, I need to send at least a few of these troops to the north. afford to lose one of these guys at this point, if only because... There we go. They have upgraded them already, so that could be a huge issue for the down the road, but... There we go, so we'll go ahead and send these guys back up where they belong. And... You go build that. Okay, so let's see. What do we have? That's going to be my next part. I need to get some bombers. The good news is I have resources to, with which to do that. Okay, so I am going to be running out of food potentially. That could be a problem. And already the nuclear blitz is coming. Great. It's a good thing that these guys can actually shoot them down pretty easily. Okay, so next up, we need to get ourselves some gold. Get more of these. I'm pretty sure at this point I can actually speed up the game. Because at this point, it's simply a matter of leaving what's left of their defenses. So they are actually trying to send priests out after us. That is interesting. The threat there has been dealt with. That is really good news. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to need at least seven bombers uh, to deal with this capital here and this capital here. I'm going to hit them one at a time. I'm going to at try to shoot for ten bombers. Okay. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to try and fully upgrading both their health and their speed, as well as working on their on their attack too. That should go a long way, making this job easier. Now, one thing I am going to need eventually is wood. So, five citizens built or trained. And they will be tasked with getting food. Now, as now you'll notice I'm not building any settlements or town centers. And there is a method to my madness here. It's because the AI is actually programmed to attack set the buildings that you have. That's where it will go. Uh, so my strategy for getting around that is to put up with the longer travel distance that my units will sometimes have to go to get the resources that they need and in return I get to not be attacked quite 
so specifically. I can actually kind of actually get these resources in relative ease. You can see they are already blitzing us. They're trying to take out this corner position here. Here comes more of them. But we are holding. comes more tanks to join the fray. Might need to actually get more tanks on my own. Yep, here comes another blitz. This is what I remember about this mission being so tough, because they just keep coming. They do not stop. Okay, so I do need 208 iron to... That, that could be a problem. Down to four tanks, so I definitely need to get more tanks. And we'll add it. I also need to get. And of course, they cost iron. That could be a huge, huge problem. Oh dear, oh dear. I do not want to get more. Unless absolutely necessary. How can I help? The other problem is that the soldiers themselves also require iron. can I build? Okay, this requires gold and wood, which I do have plenty. Well, I have plenty of gold at least. I'll need to get more wood, but I think I've got a strategy now. How can I help? Okay. Alright. So I'll send these guys off to... more food or get wood now and I'm just gonna have them go straight over here gather wood and just travel back as long as it's, as long a distance as it might be it'll actually be in my favor if I just do it that way okay I'll go ahead and wait till I get more hit point to get the other hit point upgrade and then finally the attack upgrade and I'll have just what I need a lot well I'll just need to make more of them. That's it. Go ahead. Let's see. Almost. There we go. Oh, here comes another attack, and it's a big one. And they're attacking our citizens. Great. At least it's not going that easy for them. We're able to keep our tanks alive so far. That's good news. Okay. Oh. How can I help? Just okay. find a just find a tree that you can get wood from. All right. Good. Yep, so I get six more of these things, and I will be all set. Problem is, getting wood for the AT guns is going to be a huge problem. The infantry are definitely holding their ground. Okay, so I guess I can... Okay, so I do actually have a reasonable amount of wiggle room to work with. So, I'll get six more of these. Guys, and they what they will do is they will go gather more wood. I might need to... And I do have another plan I'm going to have to enact pretty soon, I think. I have to okay. expand my defenses. Just a little, anyways. Right away. Let's see, iron. 
or get some stone produced. They're trying to destroy the A, the A, so I can not stop their bombers. Okay, let's delete it. Good. Just about got it. Wait, one of these to have. Okay, so I do not want to spend any iron unnecessarily. Because that is a critical resource right now. But I am starting to get wood. So I will get one of these guys made. Actually, make that too soon. They seem to be really paranoid by my tanks. Because I notice they're sending a lot of A and T tank units against me. Okay, I need these guys to get back to where they are safe and sound. I do not want to lose units unnecessary. I do not want to use, lose those guys because that will cost me a mission. Oh, that is a huge problem. And they're attacking the civilians. Awesome. attack. And the attack's been defeated. Good. Right, so we have 219 more iron. How many more of these planes do we need? We need at least four more, I think, to really get the job done. And we also have the iron we need to fully to get that okay. fence expanded down there. Good news. How many of these guys are left? Good, good. Build more, which I will. I'll build two more. I think that'll be just enough defense to keep my base held for now. I'm actually going to go ahead and exp and just build this here to get it uh, constructed quickly. Give me, allow me to actually get the resources gathered a little bit faster. Another bomber. Awesome. Okay. Ready, sir. Go ahead. Oop, more tanks. And they sent a medic with the tanks for some reason. Oh, they sent out suicide guy, suicide cybers, which could be bad news. Uh, I'm down to three tanks. I might need to get more. aren't really punching through. That's good. Now I'm going to have to... Two more bombers and I can really start laying down the paint on them. And oh dear, they're already... That is a problem. They don't typically attack the civilians like this. They typically... They must be trying to prepare for a flank move maneuver, so what I'm going to do is send these guys down there to deal with them. Ready, 
No, they are legitimately going after him, which is really strange. Well, not any, they don't actually counter infantry, so I don't think they intended for them to be used in this manner. So it does give me something of an advantage. There. Send these guys back up north where they belong. Let's see. One more bomber and I've got this. Have I fully upgraded them? Yes, I have. And also, look at those stats. Those are some glorious stats for bombers. Alright. Oh, I. No, I do have three tanks, but I do still. But I do have three AA or anti tank guns. Too. So let's go ahead and give us actually five anti tank guns. And I can build another bomber. I will do that. Oh. Line is hell. the black robe officer went back over there. Ready, sir. There we go. By your command. Ready, sir. I think my defenses are pretty much up to snuff now. And we now have the bombers we need. Go ahead and get these guys. Good. Them formed up a little bit so that way the Ukrainians that are gonna be I'm gonna be going after can't really repair their capital real easily while they're getting pelted with bombs so that should help us out a good deal plus it'll be tougher for their AA units to shoot them down when they're all coming in this and that is one capital dealt with And now that Ukraine's been defeated, I don't actually think they're going to be spamming units at us anymore. So that's one major threat. Who down. is this freak? He's not one of us, and that's all we need to know. Shoot him. Wait, I am a scientist with much technical knowledge. Your general will want to see me. Well, that hover platform is certainly an impressive piece of technology. Very well. We will inform Grigor, but be warned. He doesn't take kindly to those who waste his time. I think I've got a train in the background, so sorry if you can hear it. This had better be good. I am urgently needed at the front. General Stoyanovich, I am Dr. Alexei Septimis. Perhaps you are familiar with my work in robotics and machine intelligence. Yet. Well, rest assured, my reputation is well earned. The Western powers, fearing your growing strength, would not let me leave my weapons research post in Poland. But I managed to elude them and return to my Russian homeland. I am here to offer you my services, as well as the culmination of my research. Okay. I don't know that I can trust you, Doctor, but I will consider your offer. Novaya Russia will soon have need of advanced weapons. But be forewarned, if you are lying to me, your death will be most painful. As for this culmination, I look forward to seeing what you have developed. Ah, General, as a token of my sincere intentions, I will present to you my greatest achievement, the Rostov Model JK-1. I think you will find him quite useful. Okay. So we've just taken out the Ukrainians. So, you are Alexei's masterpiece, eh? Once I am convinced of your loyalties, I just might make you my own personal bodyguard. How does that sound? I can program this 
They are sending out a bunch of gunships to try to take us out, but it's not really working out for them, is it? Oop. They are sending out the suicide bots too, though, so that could be a problem. Okay. So how many of these bombers we got left? Twelve, huh? So I will go ahead and finish the rest of them all off. Ready. Right away. And it's a good thing too, because we are starting to run out of gold. But I think we've pretty much got it. All we have to do is just launch one more major air attack against one of these two capitals. I typically go against this one. Um, oh, by the way, the reason I don't... I figure I might as well mention this now. I just remembered uh, with regards to the espionage headquarters. The reason I haven't built it is that it will res um, reveal two new additional towns. Now, that does sound like good news. It is. The problem is, and it also increases your pop cap, the problem is they're also inviting targets for the AI to attack once I find them. So it's not a good idea for me to do so right yet. I'm willing to accept the lower pop cap just to defend this tiny area rather than have to be much more spread out. But since I pretty much have this under wraps, I will go ahead and send my bombers once I get one more, I guess, and then I will go ahead and send them. And that should do the job. And this, I think, will pretty much end the entire fight. Okay. Now they did actually place their AA defenses further out the north. This is Saint Petersburg. From here, we have direct access to the waters okay, of so we accidentally and found one of the towns. But it is so close to them that it may be difficult to defend. And here comes another major assault. But all we have to do is hold the fort long enough for these bombers to get through, and it looks like we will. Yep. There we go! We did it! <laughs> With the rebellion crushed and our western border secure, I feel I can finally rest my weary bones for a time. I don't know what I'm looking at, but, but okay. Novaya Russia has not reached her zenith yet. All right. So as you can see, it was quite challenging to actually deal with a lot of these things. Um, or it could be quite challenging if you didn't know what you're doing. But since I was able to deal with the two capitals by just dealing them constant airstrikes it was able to work out now the rebels did actually have some farms built but they don't seem to have gone anywhere with them i guess i did take them out completely which is good news and here's the other town but yeah so anyways let's see how we did shall we summary military top economy not so much Society, though, top. So let's see how we did military. Units killed, 201. Lost 47, though. Which puts us just behind the Allied Air Force. Uh, buildings raised, 26. Buildings lost, 0. Which is actually rather surprising. Uh, army size, 45. So we did have the largest army. Well, we, def we definitely needed it, though. Wander count, 2. Hero count, 1. Citizen count was the highest at 27. Again, interesting. Research count was pretty high, too. And we were able to pull it off in 58 minutes. Okay. Uh, the epics, yeah, the rebels were the only ones that were still in the modern age rather than the digital age. So, yeah, that sounds about right. And, yeah, there we go. So, this has been Ace. I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out. Oh.